on the shores of Plastic Normandy, lays a beach known as Omaha Beach. The Grey Verm Act has held Normandy for some time now, having kicked out the purples long ago. But the plastic green army men allied powers are landing on the beaches of Plastic Omaha Beach with their landing buckets. Will they topple the tyrannical Plastic Reich, or will they all fall, and Normandy will stay forever in Vermacht hands? Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Attack on Toys. The Army Men Battle Simulator, baby. I am very, very excited about this. This is another workshop map, uh, but this one is D-Day, baby. Omaha Beach, that's right. We have the Greens launching a massive assault against the gray defensive here on Omaha Beach. It should be really cool. This is a super well-made map. I'm really impressed with the workshop maps thus far in this game. Either way, guys, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and get 600 likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 350k by the end of 2021. And comment on down below if you'd like to see some more Attack on Toys in the future. All right, gamers, let's get it going here. All right, gamers, here we go. We are in photo mode, so we can get a nice little cinematic view of things to come here. And things start a spawning. All right, right off the bat, the crazy are just spam firing the spawns here. That seems a little cheap, but here come the greens, ready to defend their spawns, and in fact, launch a massive invasion force on the old Omaha beach here. And it is a lot. There is a lot of gunfire going on right now from all sides, most definitely. And did they spawn in a sniper tower on the beaches of Normandy? I believe they did. The greens are just wilding out here, dude. They've also got <laughs> massive tanks. That's a KV tank. That is a Soviet tank right there. Okay. Willie's Jeep's on fire in the water. Um, I do like how the water is just like architecture uh, blueprint sort of table kind of thing <laughs> i don't even know exactly what it's supposed to be but it's kind of funny you have to understand this is uh, not an exact battle simulator so they kind of have to go with whatever works you know whatever kind of resembles d-day or omaha beach to the best of their ability they can't get an exact reading on d-day in this instance so they just kind of went with ah eh, you know what this is blue so it's water there you go Either way, there's some bunker busting going on. I'm trying to get a zoomed in look at the bunkers, but it's a little tricky with all of the chaos going on. There's so much rubble everywhere and broken down turrets and whatnot. These are on fire and they're dying and everything. And this soldier's just flopping around. Oh, it's not good. It is not good one bit. The allied powers continue to spam in troopers. It looks like they even brought in a plane which was quickly downed, which is kind of hilarious. So the front lines for the Greys are basically dwindling here. They have like a couple mortars and random troopers who are peeking every once in a while. These are all uh, plastic finders so they can get more materials for the battlefield. But yeah, for the most part, the front lines for the Greys are just about toasted. And now it's up to their back mortar lines, flak guns, and uh, just regular troopers in general who are holding the back. They do have some AA guns though, so if any more of those green planes do end up spawning in, they can be taken out. It looks like headquarters are being developed on the beaches of Normandy for the greens here. That's really, really cool. They're making some base of operations here to, uh, I guess, produce more troopers a little bit closer to the beach itself. I don't know if they need more troopers because they are just spamming out fire left and right. I mean, this is this is unheard of amounts of spam here. It's kind of crazy. Um, and we can see mortar fire coming in from the gray defenders still, but these medic trucks that we see, like this one right here, is actually healing all of the troopers as well as repairing some of the tanks and things like that. We do have a half track here. This is actually really, really dope. 
coming on in, but it is stuck on a tank trap right now, so it's not actually able to do all that much. Seems like the greens are like kind of at an impasse here. Oh, they're trying to destroy this one rocket trooper, but he's just kind of chilling in that bunker, and they won't proceed forward until he's dead. Ooh, we have a little gray squad here actually moving out into this barbed wire area here. That seems really stupid. A flamethrower launching some flames out there, burning down one of the green architects right there. Yikes, dude. Um, but yeah, not the most brilliant of this gray squad because they are likely to be squashed by the war machine the second they stop firing at this building here. Or maybe they just won't stop firing at that building? I, I don't know, dude. They seem really fixated on destroying that one little bit right there. That seems to be their main mission, is this bunker right here and this one rocket trooper inside of it. Where do you even go? Is he even still in there or is he dead? What What's their fixation on this bunker? What do they got in there that they want so bad? Alright, why don't I go ahead and get the uh, green sergeant up here. Alrighty then, gamers. I am in here as the green sergeant right now. And then let's, let's move on forward. Alright. I need an attacking force here. You, uh, you follow me. You follow me. Uh, you follow me, tank. Uh, I need, I need a good tank here, man. I need, I need a good tank. That's a dummy soldier, and I fell for it. So it's a pretty effective dummy soldier. All right, we got a few troopers following us here now. Looks like they're trying to spawn in a medic tank right here against this barbed wire. That's a lot of shots coming in. Holy cow! All right, and we're stuck on the barbed wire. Wow, I got some ups. I'm not even gonna lie. What? <laughs> Why I got such such ups? Can I get a medic? Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Nah, thank you. Oh, he only hit me once and I think it was by accident. Why don't you want to heal your commanding officer? Whatever. I got I got the heals I needed. All right. Let's move up here through the choke point. I am not helping at all. They actually ended up going in on their own accord here, but here we are making things happen, baby. All right. You know what? You know what? Now, let's go back into uh photo mode here and just check out what's going on since the final push is happening. I'd rather watch it in battle simulator mode than in my own personal mode. It looks like we got mortar fire coming out here um, and the barracks are being heavily defended here by some 50 caliber MGs. Well, I suppose these are probably like MG42s, though they are 50 cals, um, but you know, they're, they're, we'll, we'll pretend they're MG42s. Um, we've got green <laughs> sappers in the front. That's a stupid position for them to be in. AA guns over here getting toppled. More back here getting toppled, but we do have some factories. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens here. This could either be a long defense or a defense that falls in about five seconds, and I'm banking on the latter here, to be honest. I think that's what's going to end up happening. All right, well, this triple mortar threat here down mid is still alive, but they're firing at the spawners in the way back instead of the immediate threat right here, aka the flamethrower tank. Yeah, they don't seem to care, but they are getting healed. Oh, but it don't matter. There's just too much incoming fire. Gray headquarters trying their best to defend for the last stand here, but there's just so much incoming fire from the greens that they're really not able to do all that much. The Vermacht is falling, boys. And there goes the uh, factories in the back there. There is still some spam fire going on. It looks to be into that one medic that was left alive right there. Oh, is there more people in here? We got folks in this rubble, maybe? Trapped inside the rubble? No, I think they're just shooting the rubble for fun. Hey, man, you can't blame them. Whatever they end up liking, dude. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see some more Attack on Toys. This was by far the coolest battle I think we've done yet, although the Zombie Fortress was pretty cool as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this. Um, I've been trying to do more variety lately, uh, you know, do some Star Wars in there, but also you know, tap in some variety, and I'm really curious to see how you guys are enjoying it. You know, are you guys digging this? Are you guys not that into it? You know, let me know in the comments, because it, you know, I, I don't want to do stuff that people are like, that's dumb, I don't want to watch that, you know? I'd, I'd rather like to know if you guys are into it, uh, and then I'll keep doing it. I know I'm into it, and I'd be happy to do more, but uh, I also want my audience to be into it as well. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below how you're feeling about this variety. Alright, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.